Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this book review video, we have book number three in the Adam and Eve mystery series or cozy mystery series by Emma Davies. Now our characters are Francesca, Eve, and Adam. So she's called Fran in the book. So this is a book about ciphers and cryptic puzzles. Yes, that is the backdrop for this third book in the series. Now, Adam and Eve, or Francesca and Adam, find themselves scratching their head more than once because they're working towards solving clues while trying to solve a crime. And what is that crime? That crime is none other than murder. Now, the man that passed away is an elderly millionaire who had three adult children. As a millionaire, it should have been very easy for his, uh, you know, uh, for them to receive assets from his will, but he doesn't make it easy for them. In fact, he leaves them pretty much like a scavenger hunt, clue after clue after clue, and whoever solves all of these clues will inherit everything. And guess what? It might not be one of his children. It could be his housekeeper. It could be it could be friend. It's whoever solves that mystery. Well, who is Fran? Well, Fran is a, a traveling caterer, okay? And she's a married woman with a 12-year-old daughter, very happily married. But on two previous occasions, while working on her catering jobs, she ended up solving murders. So she has become a rather adept amateur sleuth. So on this occasion, she is there to just cater a funeral supper with their surviving children. But then there's a murderer and there she goes again. Well, she's not going to work alone because she knows by experience that Adam is very helpful, especially because even though this is a cozy mystery, it's modern. So you have cell phones and you have computers. And so therefore you have some technology and that's where Adam excels. Now, when we find one of the adult children killed, then we know that the game is not being played fairly. So not only must Fran find, oh, I'm sorry, rocking in my chair. Not only must Fran find the murderer, but she wants to prevent further murders from happening, but also to keep herself safe. And then the question is, if she solves this, these clues as, as they get, you know, harder and harder and harder, as she solves these clues, will she end up finding out who the true murderer is? Now, the first question is, did Clarence die of old age? And then the second question is, what, who killed his son? Okay. And that's what makes this book so complex. Now, as mentioned, she may be there as a cook and setting up dinner and making everybody happy. But now she not only can possibly solve the murder, but win this million, million dollar inheritance. So she's drawn into the game. And then she finds out that the, these children, these adult children are money hungry. And so they're not the most pleasant people to work with. But again, we have Adam. Very smart, very computer literate, very easy to see things that she misses. Now, in a lot of our cozy mysteries or ongoing series, we have the bloom of a romance, but that's not going to happen. She's 40s, he's 20s, he's got a girlfriend. Sometimes he has a girlfriend. I don't think he does in this book, but this mentioned she's happily married, but yet they're great partners. Now, remember I said that there are ciphers and puzzles? Well, guess what? The reader can play along as well. Yeah. So not and that's in my written review if I keep my notes as I have them because I'm doing so many reviews right now that I started the framework of a, several written reviews I say that ciphers and clues are the backdrop of this next story and that's what happens here so that's all I'm going to say very quick review because it's a quick book 
but it's a fabulous book, third book in the series. And if you like Image of Sleuths, especially in unusual partnership, then you won't be disappointed with this next book in the friend in the Adam and Eve mystery series or cozy mystery series for that matter. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll be back with more. Bye bye.